undercut and you need to cover it up for work or a special occasion or you're going through the transition of growing one out, I'm going to show you how to create a piece that will help cover up those problem areas. You will need a wig that has nice long layers on the bottom. You will need some weaving clips, needle and thread, scissors, possibly some clips, and a comb. In order to get started, you'll need to turn your wig inside out. Wigs are constructed with multiple wefts that are sewn into these bands. These bands are then sewn into the top piece. They're oftentimes held together by this piece of lace that goes the full length of the cap. So in order to cover our undercut, we want to cut just the interior of this band, leaving this piece intact. So we're gonna take our scissors and just cut into the interior here. Once you have cut out your top piece, leaving that lace intact, we're just simply going to remove it. And set that off to the side. The next thing you just wanna make sure that when you cut that piece off that you don't have any wefts that are loose or hanging off the edge. And if you do, you should just go through and snip those back and make sure that they're all held on very securely. Looks like we're pretty good. So we have our piece that looks like that. And from the top, it looks like this. And I'm just gonna run a, a brush through it um, a little bit to remove any of those extra pieces. Okay. You just wanna make sure you get all those little extra hairs out of there or they will make it more difficult when you go to sew on your clips. Okay, the next thing is we're gonna actually lay out our clips and then stitch those into place. Sewing the clips on will probably be a little bit customized to whatever your haircut looks like. The main clips for putting this in are going to be located across the top. Typically that's five clips. That's one on each side and then three to the interior. If you have hair along the sides or just above the ears, you can put the additional clips there. Or if you have a little bit of hair to grab onto in the back from growing it out, you can put them on the bottom as well. You should try to use clips and thread that match the color of the piece that you're creating. We've created our piece with contrasting colors so that you can more clearly see our stitches and what we're doing. Also, it's important to note at this point, you need to make sure that your clips have the teeth pointing upward. You need to make sure that they can actually snap open, grab the hair, and then snap shut. Begin stitching by looping your thread through the base and then back through the thread. Run it through the clip once and around your edges, then go back into the hair band Go underneath the clip and then out through the hole. Do a couple of stitches to tack it down. Then dive with your needle underneath the clip and this will help hide your thread underneath to give you a more professional and polished look. It's those extra touches that make your pieces that much more professional and sets you apart from the rest. and then knot off your thread and cut the remainder away.
Continue sewing on the remainder of the clips. Just clip your new piece into place and hiding your undercut has never been easier.